Hi there, my name is Dan Harris and welcome to OneSite TV, our OneSite YouTube channel. Uh, we've got plenty of videos, if you've seen any of the previous ones, uh, we just try and bring you a bit more information on how to use Niagara. Uh, we do uh, training videos on there, especially if you're going on the courses, so have a look back at some really good stuff and some good content. Today we'll be looking at a migration. Uh, up to N4, that's an AX station up to N4. Now documentation that comes with uh, Workplace, you can find in your Niagara Drive under docs, um, very good, very thorough, uh, goes through a list of a lot more complexities if you have things like programs running with inside your Niagara station. Today we're just gonna show you how to do a very simple version of the upgrade. Uh, the documentation I say is very thorough, a couple of clients said it's a little bit hard to follow, but um, what I'm gonna do is do a very simplified version of it hopefully show you how easy it is. And so when you come to do it, you won't be uh, have any fears, etc. cetera. So um, don't get me wrong, there'll be pitfalls along the ways. Not every station migrates easily. Uh, one thing you have to make sure, so if you run it in an earlier version of AX, get it up to the most current. So it doesn't matter what version. If you need to bring that station into, I'm using 3.8401, as you can see down here. I then run up the station in there, as long as I've got all the modules, my station will start, then I can perform the backup which will give us a distribution file, which will be the file we're migrating. Other pitfalls you have to look out for, make sure you've got the same modules also within your N4 install. What I'm saying is if you've got any third party drivers in there, you might wanna go speak to them and see if you can get a, a version of it, a newer version of the module. If not, you might have to remove it from the station, otherwise it will hinder the migration process. So let me just get down and show you how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a right click, station that's running on my laptop. I'm going to just hit backup station. And it gives us this large path. I'm going to make it a lot smaller. It just makes my life a lot easier. It will keep the name of the station within the distribution file, so we don't have to worry too much about this. But when we actually come to the console and the command line of changing it and performing the, the actual migration itself, it just makes life a little bit easier. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So I'm just going to let this run through. It's quite a small station, so hopefully it'll go across quite quickly and we'll get that good little pop-up box. Okay, and then we've got a pop-up box and we are done. So let me go and find that station now. I'm working in 401, backups, AC, MIG.DIST. So I'm just going to cut that and paste that into mine. Now I've made another little drive, a little folder in my C drive. I've just called that MIG as well. And this would all become apparent. It's just lazy typing in the end. So I'm just going to paste that in there. I'm now going to go to my newest install, of Niagara 4.8, and open up the console. Okay, this is console we need 4.8 to actually run the migration process. So I'm going to put a simple command line of N4MIG, and I'm going to give it the directory we're in. And now you can see why I actually made, gave it a smaller name across, because it's just a lot less typing and less chance of error. So I'm just going to hit return now. Now, dependent on size of your station is how quick this process will take. And again, any areas that you come across with the migration, say if you're missing a console or there's just a discrepancy somewhere, you might have to have a look around. This will actually tell us. It will also give us the option. The command lines, you could get out the documentation. Uh, you could put extra command lines in. This is just a very quick, easy way. As I say, make sure you've always got another backup. Don't just rely on this backup to do the migration because if you've actually lost the station, you can't get another one. You're going to put yourself in a world of hate. So it's just going to go right through the actual migration process. It's booting already, running an EXE program. Okay, it's just done a copying, doing a migration test. When we actually go, we could go into the 4.8 folder. Okay, so back over to command line here. Controller or supervisor. This is just going to be a controller. Hit return. And now it's performed the whole migration. Okay, so I'm just going to go over to my now 4.8 install. Go up stations. And then you can see migration test. That was the name of my folder. So you can see migration actually run up in all in AX over here. We've now got a version of that residing in our N4 install. So what I'm going to do is go back up there.
Right, now I have 4.8 open. I'm just gonna go into my platform. And this is just the last part showing you the migration process. If I go over to my station copier, you can see the migration test has now been populated there. So hopefully um, that helps a little bit. Uh, it should just start up, as I say, it will give you all the fault codes where you need to. You'll find that in your uh, 4.8 um, home file if there's any problems but most of the documentation will go through if you need any trouble with programs etc go back into your documentation there is an AXON4 migration it's quite thorough but this was just a very quick easy way and uh, hopefully you'll get saying see how easy it is not to be scared of it okay thanks for watching um, hope you got enjoy a lot of our videos if you've got any content you would like to see feel free to leave that at the bottom downstairs you know leave uh, quotes below if there's any videos you guys will want to see uh, have a look at some of our other content and thanks for watching cheers bye